So Xavier, there were five game sevens this weekend. Let's go with the first one. Boston versus Carolina, game seven. Boston has so many opportunities. What did you make of it? And do you think this is Patrice Bergeron's last game? As you can see, I'm very sad. <laughs> but no, to be okay, so get to the point. Um, Carolina was a buzzsaw of a team. It, it, it was high, it was it was insane how good they were at home. It's insane how the series went and with each team, whoever was at home dominated. There was no three, two, four, you know, four, uh, four, three match. No, it was these games were ending in five, two, five, one. And no matter who was home, they were dominating. Um, it's, it, it, um, as far as Patrice Bergeron goes, man, I, if, if in the end, this is me speaking as a, as a fan, if he is indeed his final year in Boston, if he goes somewhere else or he just plans on retiring, I just want to thank Patrice Bergeron for everything he's ever done, for being my favorite player, for being the, 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 the leader that he's always been. And it's all ultimately up to him. I don't, I really, I really want one more year at it. He's, he's only a couple points away from 1000. It, it, leading the leading the Bruins in, in almost every category, it's going to be sad for, to, to see him go. As far as the, the series went down, um, Pasternak, he's a completely different person in the playoffs than he is in the regular season. The total no show. Um, there was there was so many things that 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 could have gone right or could have gone wrong in that one game seven. As, as you saw, they were playing very conservative. But yeah, Carolina was just a straight ball saw going through going into that series. And you knew that the Bruins were not going to survive if they were not going to get the third and fourth line scoring. You cannot depend on one or two lines to get all the all the goals in in a game. Lightning Maple Leafs game seven. I am still pissed off. Fucking Maple Leafs. Excuse my language, but I'm still mad at them. But both stepped up as champions. Nick Paul, Nick Paul, Nick Paul. He scored the two goals. Nick Paul and Vasilevsky were the stars for the Bolts. And like I told you, you know, this, this game will come down to goaltending and special teams. Both teams played outstanding goaltending, but Vasilevsky is Vasilevsky. He had 30 saves and also Lightning blocked 26 shots. Wow. 26. So and the Leafs did one 76%, 61% of face-offs, but they just couldn't get it done on offense. Now they're 0-9. Um, <laughs> I, I can't speak anymore. I'm so disappointed in them, so go ahead. Are we talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Dallas Cowboys here? Because that's what they are of the, of the NHL. The Maple Leafs, they have not advanced to the second round since 2004. Since 2013, they are 0-5 in game sevens. They have yet to surpass round one. What are we going to do here with the Toronto Maple Leafs, man? It's very heartbreaking. It's, it sucks. The Tampa Bay Lightning, even after the series was over, they were, you know, they were giving credit to the Toronto Maple Leafs. I was like, wow, that's as equal of a matchup as you're going to get. Um, yeah, man, it, 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 Toronto's such a good team. I, I don't know what else needs to be done for them to succeed. But then again, you got the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions and the big cat on net, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, it, it, for you to be able to take down Tampa, you got to, you know, pedal to the metal always until that final second of the series. It's unfortunate for the Toronto Maple Leafs to once again go through the heartbreaking um, early uh, dismissal of the playoffs. But, yeah, man, I don't – I, I – I can't put into words. What are we going to do with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Are, like, the means are already, you know, every year is the same thing. Every year is the same thing. And it's just like insane to me how, how hard fought that battle was and for them to still come out losing. Uh, yes, Nick Paul, I mentioned, I mentioned it to you early in the, in the predictions, man. Expect all four lines to click. And, and it's not always the, the superstar player that's going to score for you. Nick Paul, what is he, the third, fourth liner? Yeah, he got two goals, and if I'm not mistaken, it was his first playoff career goals. I could be wrong at that in that statement, but if I'm not mistaken, yes, that was the point. Um, 
but yeah, man, Tampa Bay Lightning is just too damn good. You can't keep them away. And Toronto, gotta get your shit together, man. Thank you, Evans. <laughs> Jonathan, quick. He had a great game, 39 saves. But McDavid, baby. McDavid, what do you think? So that game seven was one of the most exciting ones that I saw out of the game sevens, aside from the, the Sunday craziness. But yeah, for, for Saturday's matchups, those were one of the craziest games that I saw. It was a very fast-paced game. Both, both teams were playing, and it, it looked like who was going to be the faster team and who was going to be the team that was going to, you know, uh, pull the trigger first. It was a good matchup. And Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid, that man is a, is a man on a mission. I don't, if you if you ended up watching the game after he scored the the game winning goal the that made it two one you just saw him on the bench he looked like he was fucking high on Adderall like he was just yo let's close it out let's close it out we need it we need this we need this we need this um, I'm excited it, it, I'm excited for for Calgary versus Edmonton which we'll get we'll get to that later but yes I am excited for that um, the Kings hell of a run. Did they surprisingly get into the playoffs? Yes. I don't think that they, they, they were good enough to even be in the playoffs, to be honest. Um, Jonathan Quick will always be a gem. Shout out to Dustin Brown. He played his last NHL career game uh, in that game seven. He's finally retiring, leaving with two, two Stanley Cups, 18 years in the league. Shout out to, to Brown. Um, but, yeah, it was a hell of a series, a fun series at that. And, and like I said, Mac Jesus. <laughs> Penguins Rangers game seven. Mm. Jay Gunzel was Jay Gunzel. But the Rangers, as usual in the series, they never quit. They've even trailed in games five and six. And even in this game, the third period, but they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And now they're going to the conference semifinals against Carolina. What are your thoughts? Um, shout out to the Rangers. I, again, I, I, for people who don't know me, everybody knows me as the Bruins fan. But what people don't tend to understand is that I'm a hockey fan first. I love all things hockey. It just so happens to be my favorite team is the Bruins. I am jumping on the Rangers bag wearing it for the rest of this playoffs, man. That They deserve, I've, I've, I've even emphasized this to all my Ranger allies. You guys are good this year. You guys can make it happen. Um, coming coming back from a three one deficit, impressive as hell. Um, and even trailing in those last three games, you still you guys still came back, amazing. Sibanejad has finally started clicking, which is was something that I emphasize a lot in game one and two. Is like where the hell are the other players? So Mika Sibanejad already has, if I'm not mistaken, three four goals already at close to close out that series. He had a, a hot hand. Amazing. Um, Igor Shosturkin kept his um his, his he knows what he knows what he's capable of and he held it down. I believe all the Ranger players um did what they had to do to focus, especially and shout out to Chris Kreider in that game six when Savannah Jad missed on that breakaway. And then Savannah Jad wanted to like check the, the tablet and Chris Kreider said no, he slammed the tablet and then he showed him it's just like yo, bro. You already know what you need to do. This is an elimination game. This is game six. We need to move on to seven. Like, come on, let's freaking do this. How Chris Kreider is not the captain yet is beyond me. Because a man expresses leadership all throughout. Um, but yeah, shout out to the Rangers. And at Tenny Panarin with the hot, also with the with that nice snapshot on the power play uh, to close it out. So yeah, as far as the Penguins go, is it the end of the big three of Malkin, um, Latang, and Crosby? Who knows? We don't know where they're going. We don't know what's going to happen with their contracts. So it should be an exciting offseason as well to see what the future brings with all these players that we mentioned, like Patrice Bergeron, Crosby, Malkin, and the Tank. 